Hey, if you thinking to write long MATLAB scripts and you are doing some type of research, if you are doing some type of analysis where you need to change multiple parameters frequently, then there is one small important thing, a thing called user input. Once you run the screen, you need to give input in command window and using that input, all the analysis or calculation has been done. So in this video, we are going to learn how to give a user input once you run the script. So without wasting time, let's get started. Hey, this is Murudraj and you are watching Learning Vibes. Welcome to another video on video lecture series on MATLAB tutorials. We are going to learn how to give user input. So first of all, let me show you this simple script file. This is the script file that we have uh, understood in our previous videos where we have learned how to give a specific output text to our calculated variables. So let me run the script. So this is how it gives output. This is the script file for calculation of circle, right? Various parameters. Now here we are calculating all these four parameters. But to calculate these four parameters, this is our user defined parameters, radius and height. So what we'll do, instead of defining radius and height initially in the script, we'll make such change that it will ask once we run the script and whatever value we'll give to R and H, it will run accordingly. So now, instead of this R, we'll write So, this is how using this input command, we can give input. So, using first line, we'll clear the command window and using second line, clear all, we'll clear all the data in workspace. This is the input command. This is the syntax to write input command. You need to write into bracket, into inverted comma, whatever you have written, in between these two inverted commas, it will be printed as it is. So now let us just run the script. So see it's asking for radius. Let me give 10. Enter. Now it's asking for height. Let me give 5. Enter. And there we go. This is our calculation. After this calculation, let me run it again. Just remember it's 20, 62, 314. Run it again. Now let's give it 2, enter 4. And the calculation is like this. So this is how you can give a user defined input in your script file. Now, in this script file, let me run it again. Instead of numerical, if you give any string like this, mj and enter, then it will define as inappropriate input. For example, now if you want to give string input, then let us take a small example for that. Now see. Here I have defined input what you want to do and then after comma I will specify s that means string. Let's run it again. I'll add few space over here and then we'll run it again. So it's asking for radius, I'll give it 5, height 2, what you want to do, calculation and there we go. So if you specify it like this for string, it will take this as a string, otherwise it will show some error. So if you want to learn anything more on MATLAB, you can write that thing in comment section below. That's all from this video. 
Until we meet again in our next video. Till the time. Bye bye.